Yo, what is going on everyone? We are back with another video and this time we're going to be talking about Hoyoverse, aka Genshin Impact, Honkai Impact Creators, you guys already know this. But specifically we're going to be talking about them at Anime Expo 2022. So, um, all I gotta say is get ready guys, <laughs> because I have quite a bit to say to about this. So let's start with day one. Okay, so they had everybody waiting in line for Anime Expo, alright, and then once they left the doors open for everyone, I went straight to the Genshin booth and they were not ready. This is day one. Keep in mind, guys, they were, the booth was not ready. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me go check out Star Rail. And same thing, Star Rail was not ready. And then they posted on their Twitter, like, what was it, like five hours later saying that they're finally ready? That was like at 2 p.m., even though like the event started at 10. So the, I was like, huge, that, that was a huge disappointment to me. But then after that, I went straight to Honkai which um, it had a little bit of people, like it, it was ready, but the, the the screen wasn't on because they had a big old TV. Like I should have recorded this, like they had a big TV. Um, eventually they showed like the cinematics for Honkai, which I thought was pretty cool. But in day one, literally nothing was ready for <laughs> MiHoYo. Um, so they had a line on the side, cool. And then like I got myself in line and went a little bit past the Genshin booth. And then out of nowhere, one of the Hoyoverse workers, he said, Okay, this line is now the Genshin Impact line. And I'm all like, huh? You guys just said you weren't ready. And I don't, I don't know where they're ready. Okay, so now since I'm like a little bit past the Genshin Impact booth, uh, there's like 10 people in front of me. So I'm I'm towards the front. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Genshin's a uh, more popular game. This is going to sell out more. You know what? Let me just chill here. Like, I'm not complaining. I'll take it any day. So I get to the front of the line after 40 minutes. And I was wondering why it took 40 minutes for me to get from 10 people all the way up to pretty much the counter. And the reason is absolutely ridiculous. So once I got to the counter, I like I looked around. I'm like, where is the catalog? Like, what are these guys selling? And it was nowhere to be found. And then <laughs> the workers, they're all like, you have to go on our Twitter. Uh, and then the thing is, they didn't even pin the tweet. So I went on their Twitter and I looked. I scroll, I scroll, and it was from a month ago. The tweet was from a month ago, and it leads to the, uh, what's it called, MiHoYo, like, official website, which has the catalog there, but I'm like, are you serious, guys? I had to go on Twitter, find the catalog for you guys? Like, come on. <laughs> that was absolutely horrendous, so I didn't even know if I got everything that they offered. I know I got, like, acrylic stands for Kuching and um, Ganyu. Then I get, I did get these little Paimon uh, figures, here, I'll show you guys. Ah, uh, no, it's too bright. But I think they were like 35 bucks. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Give me, give me a Paimon blind box figure. So I'm all like, okay, 35 bucks, not bad. And I, I don't know. I guess I got the whole box. Uh, my light is kind of bright right now, but I for sure, if you guys ask me in Discord, I, I for sure have like clearer pictures. But they give me a whole box. I'm all like, 35 dollars for six of the Paimons. I'm all like. Okay, I thought they were blind box, but it turns out I got every single one with just 35 bucks. I'm like, I'll take it, but I don't even think the workers were supposed to do that. If you guys went to Anime Expo and ordered a Paimon blind box figure, uh, let me know to give you guys the whole box <laughs> um, that had like six uh, mini boxes in them. So they did say that some of the items that were limited were like one of these clean mugs right here. Uh, you guys see, I managed to get it. Let's get this little top. It might be a little bit loud, but yeah, the clean mug. It looks nice, you know, comes with a little top. Can't complain, I managed to get it. So, that's a good thing. But, like I said, I'm, I don't even know if I got everything that Genshin had to offer there. Because I did, oh yeah, they did have shirts, but then I asked like, yo guys, can I get a white Paimon t-shirt? It was like a Paimon with like a, a pocket right here, and, and Paimon just peeking out of the pocket. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll take one of those shirts. And these guys are, like, they don't even know where their stuff is at. <laughs> I'm all like, yo guys, like, well, well, first I asked for a Ganyu acrylic stand. I'm all like, okay, so I'll take a Kuching and I'll take a Ganyu acrylic stand. Then they're all like, we don't have Ganyu. I'm all like, I do not have Ganyu. There's only 10 people in front of me. That, that's what I was thinking in my head. I didn't say it out loud. But then like two minutes later, uh, the guys are like, oh yeah, we do have Ganyu. I'm all like, okay, so I'll take a Ganyu and then give me a Paimon t-shirt. And then they were like, do we have t-shirts? And they're like, yeah. And they were looking for it. And I'm all like, 
yo, <laughs> do you guys have a t-shirt or not? And they're like, oh, no, we, we don't have any large right now. I'm like, dude, it's day one. You guys just opened. You guys don't have a large shirt. You, like, you guys can't be sold out. So it was just chaos on the Genshin one. So I got what I what I managed to get and went straight to the Honkai booth. Oh boy, and Honkai is another story. Like Honkai went by perfectly. Well, I want to say perfectly. It went it went all right for the first day. They were ready, uh, good to go. But the one thing that was really disappointing was that one of the workers said, uh, like I was I was in line and I was asking them like if they have any goodies for any like level eighty eight players, and this guy's all like, no, we don't have any. But just to let you guys know. Our merch is arriving late. I'm like, huh? What do you mean it's arriving late? You guys had like a month or like a, like weeks to prepare for this. How are you guys not getting your shipment in, in yet? And I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> so <laughs> they, they had these little Android figures. I, I, I think I'll pop up some pictures um as I'm talking. But they had the little Android figures and, and it's like a blind. It's like a gotcha. I'm like, okay, I'll take a gotcha uh, blind figure. And... There was like, I want to say like 30 people, no, I want to say 30, I want to say like 25 people that was that were ahead of me. Um, but the Genshin Impact Line did take a good minute. It took me like 40 minutes, plus another 10 just to figure out what I wanted. And I got to the Honkai Line a little bit late, so they sold out of the blind box figures, and they just had posters alongside it. So I'm like, okay, I'll take the posters. And that was it. I just managed to end up <laughs> with some Honkai posters. And then Star Rail still wasn't open, so I'm like, all right, let me just go to other booths. So pretty much that was it for day one for MiHoYo. Okay, you know what, guys? I do not want to make these videos too long. So, because I have so much to say about uh, MiHoYo. So I'm going to end off day one with this video. Um, day two will most likely come out like almost right away of, after this next video. Maybe the next day. But yeah, expect the next video like ASAP. Because I, I just want to break it down just for you guys, you know, because I, I kind of go on a rat. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just, I just want to make sure I did cover everything. So, so yeah, if any of you guys went to Anime Expo and went straight to the MiHoYo uh, booth, let me know your guys' experience. Maybe you went in like uh, maybe an hour or two later um, than me because I went straight away. As soon as they opened, I went straight over there. I managed to get in front of the line, luckily. But like I said, the catalog was a huge let down. Let down. Like getting to the front of the line is like, you have to pray. <laughs> you have to get lucky. You have to win the lottery to get there for Genshin because of how popular it is. And then next thing you know, they don't have a catalog and you don't even know if you have the whole entire catalog on your phone. Like that's actually a huge disappointment. Like there was, that was my only chance to get any merch for Genshin every single day after that. No way. Forget that. Like that, that was my only chance <laughs> to actually get the merch and I got what I could. So I'm not complaining. But yeah, let me know if you guys were satisfied with the MiHoYo booth. And if you guys were, let me know in the comments below what you guys experienced, what you guys liked, what you guys didn't. Overall, I it was a huge disappointment for me. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this video. If you guys enjoyed my little rant, let me know in the comments below. And as always, the next video will be ASAP. So I'll catch you guys next video. Have a good one, guys.